by following the geological map. And uh, yeah, I don't normally follow them or even pay attention to them. But now I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to them because they kind of point you the direction of to find things like this. <clears throat> Check out this bug trail right here. Where it kind of zipped along the bottom of the ocean. I'm guessing it's a bug trail. Might be some some uh, sea life, little sticks. But uh, and then you can see in here even more trails of something. One goes right through here. Another one's right there. But uh, yeah, this is not even this is not even the area I was going to. I'm going further away from here. But. I wanted to see, oh, and I also found this <laughs> pink uh, alabaster down the hill from here. I found one other place around that I can find it, but uh, yeah, we're gonna walk up this hill and see if we can't find some more little uh, stars, and then we're gonna head off. Here is a whole <laughs> rock of uh, little trails of, uh, sea life that used to travel around in the mud when it used to be mud on the ocean floor. Check them all out. Little trails of bugs moving around on the sea floor. Now we're getting into, let me zoom back out. Getting into uh, more of the little sea lily stems right here. Right there. See, there's a whole stack of them right there before they separate and uh, hit the sea floor and scatter everywhere around. But uh, yeah, nice. I know they're up on this hill because I've been, like I said, I've been doing those, <clears throat> just got introduced to those geological maps. And am I going, eh, I gave it a shot. And sure enough, yes, it shows you, if you find one area that has them, you can usually look on the map and find other areas of the same formation that'll have uh, the same thing in it. But uh, yeah, that is cool. All right. We gotta get going. We got other stuff to do. We're not playing with sea lilies today. <laughs> 